Uh, what I'm showing you there is my pumpkin plants. So, pumpkin, if you've never grown it, unsurprisingly, probably when you look at the size of the fruit, is a big plant. I've made a bit of a mistake this year. I've planted probably the biggest uh, uh, commercially available pumpkin, and that is the Queensland Blue. Um, and the reason I say I've made a mistake is that the plant itself is enormous. But the plant itself has spread all around the garden. It's spreading over here, growing over where the passion fruit's trying to grow. It's growing down and trying to make its way out of the backyard and escape down the front driveway. But look, pumpkin's a good thing to grow if you've got the space. Uh, you've, if not, you have to be fairly brutal with it. A couple of things to be aware of with pumpkin. Uh, there's two kinds of flowers, male and female. I'll point to you here. This is the male flower, it grows on a long stem. Um, the bees get into this, certainly in the mornings and in the afternoons. We have to be careful there's no bees there. No. Uh, so the long male flowers are not the ones that produce the fruit. It's the shorter female flowers. Uh, let's see if we can see any in here. There's one that's actually uh, fruited and then died off because you won't get all your fruit setting. Um, but they're a shorter flower, you can see at least there, that will grow much closer to the stem, which kind of makes sense because it's a big fruit, you don't want it to be sitting on a massive long stem. Um, the plan here is to let this thing keep growing without destroying my, the rest of my plants and smothering them. When it comes to winter, the plant will die off, um, the fruit will be left, and we'll take a look at that certainly in the colder months, but basically between now and then, hoping to get more pumpkins, I've got about six at the moment um, and hoping to keep the plan under control. All right, cheers.